But with Senya Kawagari being one of the strongest and most influential characters of Tokyo Revengers, you began to wonder how was she able to rise to her success and how were her life beforehand. I will cover that and much more in today's video. So if you are excited for it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for more Tokyo Revengers content. Anyway, let's start going over the life of Brahms' former princess, Senya Kawagari. Senya and her two older brothers, Sansu and Takaomi, were raised by a single father who was always busy with work. So the older sibling, Takaomi, had to play the father role. That also led to Senyu, Sansu and Takaomi spending a lot of time at the Sanu resident. Takaomi was good friends with Shinjiro, which led to Senyu and Sansu becoming friends with Mikey. For the most of the time, they were happy together and liked each other. But everything changed when Sensu was at the Sanu resident all alone. She saw the plane which Shinjiro had built to Mikey. Senyu decided to play with it, even though Mikey strictly said that no one was allowed to touch it. While Senyu was playing with the plane, she fell on the ground and broke the plane. When Mikey realized that the plane was destroyed, he quickly asked Senyu if she saw who did it, and she blamed it on Sansa. Senyu didn't think that much of the happening until she heard Sansa and Baji screaming. She looked out and saw that Mikey had ripped Sansa's mouth out, and Sansa was bleeding all through his mouth. This is also where Mikey's dark impulse starts boiling up, so Senyu blames herself for Mikey's rage and evilness. Now, let's get into Senyu's recent events. When Takamichi returns to the past, after shaking Mikey's hand, he learns that there is a new era of the gangs in Tokyo. He learns that one of the bosses is Senyu Kawagari, who is in charge of Braham with the help of Takeomi. Later, when Takamichi and Draken is cornered by another gang called Rukahara Tandai, Braham comes to the rescue, and Senyu does one of the coolest entrants I've seen in a while. First off, she throws her umbrella at the leader of Rukahara Tandai, to our south, and later she jumps up in the sky and kicks him in the head. And not to talk about the Braham's uniform which looks incredible, like it's so cool. Anyway, after that interaction, the police comes and breaks it up. Later when they get home, Senyu invites Takemichi into the Braham gang, which Draken refuses but Takemichi accepts. The next day, Senyu and Takemichi meet in Tokyo to go shopping, and we realize that Senyu is just a normal high school girl and not a so normal young boss. But outside the gang life, Senyu is just a playful and childlike teen, or as Takemichi said, no matter how you look at it, she's really an ordinary cute trendy girl. But as Braham's boss, Senyu have her responsibilities as handling gang businesses and keep other gangs from interrupting her customers' business. But despite Senyu being a gang boss, she is very loyal and kind-hearted because she cares deeply about her friends but also random people who might get in danger. Senyu also have massive respect in the Bram gang, as shown as when she walks down the stairs and everybody is shouting her name. In the midst of all the shouting, Senyu introduces Takemichi as a new member of Braham. And Senyu also tells everyone in Braham that on the 14th of July, Braham will fight both Kantomanyu gang as well as Rokuharu Tandai. As Takemichi goes home, he hears someone throwing rocks at his window, and that someone is Senyu, who asks Takemichi to go on the date they were going to before. They go to an amusement park, which Senyu has been wanting to visit for a long time. There they do everything from riding the Paris wheel to riding horses, and even riding a roller coaster. On the roller coaster, Senju says that she will take down Mikey and Stauf to become number one. After Takemichi almost throws up at the roller coaster, they go to write their wishes. Takemichi writes that he will defeat Mikey, while Senju writes that she will protect Takemichi, once again showing her kind-hearted heart and how she values the people around her. But while both Takemichi and Senju are having a great time at the park, that doesn't last long as some of the members from Rokuhara Tandai comes and tries to kill Takemichi. As they are about to shoot Takemichi, Draken comes and takes the bullets protecting both Senyu and Takemichi. Sadly, this is instead where Draken dies. After the ambulance comes to pick up Draken, all of the gang start incoming one by one, and soon all of the three deities are here. And this is the first time we get to see Senyu fighting for real. Senyu's fighting style is to fight from the shadows. She also has her acrobatic style, which benefits her small state. But you really shouldn't underestimate Senyu for a small stature. As we see in her fight with South, where she lands a lot of powerful kicks, Senyu can also execute high level moves. Additionally, her strength and fighting skills are proven by her position as Braham's leader. As we also can see very clearly with her fight against South, where Senyu is giving him a real run for his money. Sadly, Senyu gets taken down by South in the end. This leads us to a flashback from the Senyu were a kid. As a kid, Senyu was already a powerhouse in fighting, and she also revealed that she has been wanting to fight the Invincible Mikey from a young age. When we get back to the fight, we can see Mikey killing South and was about to kill Takemichi if it weren't for Senyu who disbanded Braham to save Takemichi. But even though Senyu disbanded Braham, that doesn't mean that this is the end of her career, because Takemichi asks her to join his new team, which goal is to take down Mikey. First, Senyu refuses to join Takemichi's new team, but gives up after some persuasions from Takemichi and Takomi. Senyu becomes the 5th division captain of the 2nd generation of Tokyo Manji gang. But in the final fight, after Senyu has taken down 50 plus members of Kanto Manji gang, she gets confronted by Sansu, her older brother. Even though Senyu does her all to beat Sansu, Senyu sadly gets taken down. 
And that's everything that has happened to Senya up to this point. And let me just say that Senya is easily one of my favorite characters because she's strong, kind hearted, super cool and just awesome. She got the whole package, you know? So I'm so excited to see what more she will do in this final arc, if she wakes up from the beating she got from Sansa. But please feel free to tell me what you guys think about Senyu. Do you like her or don't you like her? Please tell me what you think about her and why you think that in the comments down below. And this was my first character explained slash analysis videos, so please tell me if there is anything you think I can improve on. Anyway, if you made it this far, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and also put on the bell so that you don't miss any more Tokyo Revengers content. Anyway, it's been a pleasure, but I'm probably going to go and search for more fan arts of Senju right now. So have a good day and bye.